Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. Alibaba is truly and really at the forefront of open source at the moment. They have not only released this amazing tool called as Mplug Dockall, they have also open sourced their whole pipeline, code, dataset, weights and everything. In this video, we are going to install this Mplug Dockall on our local system and we will see how it works. As you can see, it's quite a powerful multimodal family of large language models for OCR free document understanding. First, let's try to understand what exactly is meant by this OCR free document understanding and what is Docowl and then we will get it installed. Document understanding or document visual question answering is quite a crucial task in various applications including document analysis, information retrieval, and question answering. Traditional approaches rely on OCR or optical character recognition to extract text from document images. But OCR has its limitations such as being brittle and prone to errors, especially with low quality or complex document images. Previous models have attempted to address this limitation of OCR by using high resolution document images, but these approaches resulted in an excessive number of visual tokens that leads to longer inference time and high GPU memory requirements. Because the large number of visual tokens occupied significant GPU memory, limiting the model's ability to process complete documents or videos. That is where this OCR free document understanding by doc call comes in. It means that directly processing visual features of document images to understand their content without relying on OCR to extract text. Doc Owl 2 is a new multimodal LLM that addresses the limitation of previous approaches by introducing a layout aware compressing architecture called as high resolution doc compressor and you can use this technique on all of these images from different sources. Now, this compressor reduces the number of visual tokens required to represent high-resolution document images while maintaining layout and textual information. There are three key features of Talkout 2. First and foremost, it has got high-resolution doc compressor that reduces visual tokens. It has got layout-aware compression for um, in order to understand visual features of a global low resolution image as guidance and then it uses a three-stage training framework which is quite interesting that includes single image pre-training, multi-image continue pre-training and multitask fine-tuning. So that is the overall introduction of this talk call too. Let's go and try to get it installed. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs, so do check them out. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU VRAM courtesy Mast Compute. Let me create a virtual environment. Now let's install some of the prerequisites. First up, I'm installing this GCC compiler and CUDA. And now let's install all of the prerequisites, which include Torch, Torch Vision, Decode, Protobuf, and a lot of other things. And now we need to install Flash Attention because that is required for this project. And make sure that your GPU is um, compatible with Flash Attention. Most of the modern ones are, so it should be fine. And now let me install my Jupyter Notebook and launch it. Okay, so first in Notebook, let's install one of the packages which I forgot to install earlier. That is simple ice cream package which is used for debugging. It's a very small package. That is done. Now let me import all of the libraries and then download the model. Let me show you how to do that. For that, all I'm doing, I'm just importing these libraries, which we have just installed. Then I have defined this class, which is 
doc all infer and there are two methods in it one is a constructor so whenever we will instantiate an object from this class this will fired up which is primarily downloading the model and the tokenizer of course and this is a simple function which is doing inference with the help of this chat template and you see that we are just downloading this model by triggering this object which is doc all infer from this class so let me run it and the model has started downloading you can see that there is one tensor and the size is just over 17 gig quite a big, big model so just given the specialized nature of it but let's see let's wait for it to get downloaded the model is almost downloaded and the model is downloaded and you can ignore these messages these are just explaining what is happening in various parameters within the model okay so now let's try to do the inference on some of the document the inference is quite simple so what is happening here is all we are doing we are giving it two images of some text and then we for example this could be different pages of a research paper or pages of a book or something like that and then for example i'm asking it what is the text about provide detailed information now just to confuse the matter what i have done not here what i have done is i have given it this english text and then this arabic text so first image is english second one is arabic let's see what it does here so i'm just going to run it and see how what answer comes back so you see it is saying that i've shown an image one which is the first one there is a website called a spammer let me open it and not this one this one so it is going through this first one and it has correctly identified that this is a a spammer one and all that stuff the email is discussing a potential scam that is good a dog and duck very nice very very nice okay so let me now ask it a targeted question about these images now i'm not sure if it is multilingual but i'm just asking it to do second page and i asking it to provide the detailed information second page is the second image so let's run it it is working here really uh, there you go religious text in arabic let's also check the vram consumption it is consuming close to 19 gig of vram i would say okay and there you go it is talking about that you know it's a religious text in arabic and it appears to be from quran which is a holy scripture of islam the image of various surahs and all that stuff i'm not sure about that if you're a arabic speaking please confirm so but this looks really good the dog owls performance as you can see really very very high quality and just to do a quick another test what i'm going to do i'm going to use a chinese language image or spanish so this is a chinese one and this is a spanish one and i'm asking it what languages are mentioned in these images let's see let me run it and you can see the speed is quite good spanish and chinese how good is that really really good stuff and now i am making it a bit hard i'm asking it what spanish language text is talking about and can you convert it into chinese let's run it let's see if it can do the conversion there you go it is this yes that is correct metro river in spain translation is not there which is fine because this is not a translation model but ocr and basically document understanding is really amazing and as i showed you earlier if you look here you can use all of these examples to extract the targeted information too just like i showed you so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching